Good day ladies and gents, today we're doing some Tarkov food reviews. I got some Sprats. And I got some Kvass. So we're gonna try it, I'll tell you what it's made of. We're gonna compare it to the in-game item, which I actually wanna do right now. So Sprats actually look really, really identical to the in-game ones. I've tried to find uh, the most identical ones and I would say those ones are like a copy-paste. They look the same. And Sprats is actually a bunch of little fishes in the can. Those ones are conserved with uh, oil. Some of them are done with tomato sauce, but I decided to go for the usual ones. And unlike Sprats, Quest actually has a pretty long description in the game. It says it's a truly refreshing kvass. It's made by the natural fermentation of bread, such as wheat, rye or barley, which is true and sometimes flavored using fruits, berries, raisins or birch sap, which is also true. One of the traditional Slavic drinks that is not just tasty but also a healthy product. It's for a reason that in Russian tales it's constantly drank by bogaters to regain their power. Bogaters are like the buff guys from Russian tales. And uh, when I bought this quas, I actually wanted to buy a small, small can or a small bottle and they were only selling big ones in the shop. So I asked them if there's like any smaller ones and they directed me towards this one. And this is a life class. It literally says class life. And I wasn't sure what that meant and I had to search it. So apparently life class is different from the usual one. It means it has been fermented twice and therefore there is more vitamins, more micro elements and uh, different good bacteria. So it's better for you than the usual one. So class is a fizzy drink and it actually says here that make sure you keep the bottle not in a warm place otherwise that can lead to the bottle explosion it literally says that the bottle can explode so let's open it oh ooh, 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 ooh. that was a bit risky it's coming out man all right i think we're good now So Kvass is actually drank by everyone, adults and kids, even though it does have a little bit of alcohol in it. It says that the max amount of alcohol um, is no more than 1.2%. So you can't really get drunk by it. And it's really refreshing. It's one of those drinks that you can thrive for. If it's very hot outside, you're in the desert or something, this is like a perfect thing to drink. It does have a bready taste, you know, like when you eat bread, typical bread taste. It's a little bit sweet, a little bit sour. And it has like, it, it's, tough to, it's tough to explain it. It has a bit of this medical aftertaste mixed up with Coca-Cola or Pepsi. Like, you know, typical medical drinks, which you drink and you go like, Ugh, medical drink, yeah. But overall, it's a nice flavor. I quite like Kvass, even though it's not one of my favorite drinks. I drink it, I don't know, maybe like twice a year, three times a year. But there are some people that enjoy it a lot. There is plenty of Russian brands that produce Kvass. Some of them make it a dark Kvass. I'm actually not sure if this is considered as a dark Kvass or a bright one. This is probably considered as, I don't know, like a medium or something. But basically there is a dark type of Kvass and a bright type of Kvass. Kvass. And I've never, I've never tried the bright one. But overall, it's a nice drink. If you have it in one of your uh, local stores, you might look for like, I don't know, Polish store, Russian store. Uh, give it a try. You might like it. All right, we've tried Kvass. Now it's time to move to Sprats. So I've read that Sprats are actually really bad for you. Um, you shouldn't be eating Sprats if you're overweight, if you have problems with your stomach, with your intestine. Uh, if you have any heart problems, if you are allergic, etc, etc, etc. Sprats are actually really bad for you, bro. Um, yeah, but we're gonna eat them anyway. <laughs> so yeah, let's, let's, let's open them up. Mm, I think I'm gonna open it here just to make it safe. But I'll try to make sure that he can see it. Let me, let me, let me do it this way. Alright. Bruh. Oh, there we go. Okay. 
cam. I'm actually gonna open it on the table. It's a bit tough, but that's how it looks like. So those are the spreads. And I think I might have a bit of oil out. So some people eat spreads just by themselves without anything else. Some people like it with uh, mashed potatoes. I really enjoyed spreads with mashed potatoes. And some Russians put it on bread and eat it with bread. Very oily, a little bit of a fishy flavor, no bones, very, very smooth, very soft. It's actually not as good as I remember. The last time I ate spreads was ages ago, but I remember that the flavor was a little bit more rich. Maybe the fish is different, maybe f fish is a bit smaller than it used to be. It's nice. It's nice to eat it once in a while. I wouldn't say it has a superb flavor. It's not very salty, it's just very oily. Very oily. A bit of fishy flavor, but it's not the type of flavor that pushes you away. It's actually pretty, I would say it's a pretty shy flavor, if it makes sense. So the thing which we're going to do next, we're going to put our little spread on bread. Oh my lord. So it looks like this. Maybe it's not the most appealing thing, but it's pretty, pretty tasty, trust me. Definitely better with dark bread. First of all, when you eat it with the bread, the bread absorbs some of the oil, it becomes more moist and the fish doesn't feel that oily. And also bread adds a little bit of flavor, uh, which mixes in pretty well with the fish. Once again, this is how the little fish look like. Ooh. The gas from Kvass is coming out. If you enjoyed this experience, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. And uh, yeah. So I plan to do more videos like this, talking about Tarkov food. Next video should be very fun. If you have any questions about other Tarkov foods or anything Tarkov related or not Tarkov related, feel free to check me out on Twitch where I stream daily. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.